Good morning, saints. Uh, once again, I greet you in the precious name of the Lord's anointed, William Aaron Branham. You may be very surprised, uh, my brothers and sisters, especially those that are following the end time message, and even those that have uh, left the message. Uh, this message is to address uh, both message believers, those that have left, and the, the world at large. Because when the prophet was sent, Malachi 4, when Malachi 4 was sent, he was sent to the whole world, to the whole earth. God is a just God. He will not just bring a person to judgment without warning him. And the world will not be brought to a judgment without it being warned by God. We must always remember we were created by God and God loves us and we are his children. And he has made us free moral agents, people. Therefore, in everything, God has made a way for people of escape. But we have come to, to understand through the, the word of God and the history that always man he doesn't want to take God's way. He always wants to have his own way. Once again, this morning, ask, I ask you, for, uh, I pray for you, I ask that you also, you pray for me, you help me. I'm very new in this thing, but it's the way that I felt that uh, it's the only way that I can also uh, fulfill that which I believe the Lord has called me for to do. Uh, I would like to, to, I'm inviting message believers all over the world, those that are still following, that are in the message, those who are following and those that have left, even uh, the rest of Christians uh, are outside this message, even, the, even the, uh, other faiths like Buddha, la, la, like the Muslims, like the Hindus, all over the world, you know, the, that they are free to, 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 to listen and to ask questions, to question me on what I believe, because I'm, I'm fully persuaded that whatever we do is for the whole humanity. Now, especially now to the end time believers, uh, those who believe William Maron Bradham to be God's prophet, I want to say this, my brothers and sisters, the first thing that you have to understand, many of you have, uh, are stumbled when I use the word Messiah, Branham being our Messiah. Oh, brethren, my sister, brothers and sisters, we must accept what the prophet has given us. If we believe he was sent of God, then we must accept his teaching without any question. Truly, uh, Sister Kara that, has, Kara, Kara that has left the message pointed out in her video that Brother Brenham clearly said, uh, clearly said uh, Moses was uh, the Messiah in his day. Uh, and many other brethren have pointed out the same. And they, they say that uh, there is no preacher that ever uh, taught that Moses was a Messiah or a prophet. It's only William Brenham that taught it. Yes, it's true. And for us who believe William Brenham, we have to accept it. We should know that outside that, nobody has ever taught that. So the question is, have you, what made you to believe William Aaron Brenham? What did you see for you to believe William Brenham? As for me, what I saw, brethren, I have to be very frank with you. What really made me to believe that truly this man is the Messiah, is the super sign which I saw upon him. Now, I know many people have seen the super sign, but we have seen it in a different way. To me, it was a proof of the resurrected Jesus Christ in this day. Hallelujah. Amen. To me, it was a proof that truly there was a man called Jesus who once lived on this earth. And he died and resurrected. And this is his spirit that has come again and, uh, 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 and has proved after 2,000 years that he, he has been alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember... This prophet redemonstrated what Jesus did to prove that the same spirit that was in Jesus is the same spirit that came upon William Aaron Brenham to prove that that is the Holy, the Holy Ghost of the Old Testament. He is God. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, let us an open discussion. This message, I have seen the way it's been presented, it's been presented cutting corners. But the Lord has placed it upon my heart. I feel from my heart that I, 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 I must, by the grace of God, just try to present this message in the way it's being revealed in my heart. 
There are many things ever since I've been in this message for more than 25 years. I feel sorry, uh, I pity seeing many believers leaving the message without even starting. And, I, I, and most of the time, I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not against you God's servants, but I put the blame on God's servants. Instead of taking the believers all the way into Christ to see Christ that came in this day, you have taken the people to yourselves. Many church members, they've ended with their pastors. And this is what has caused problems because as pastors, as servants of God, we are men in human beings. Sometimes we think we are doing the, wrong, the right thing when we are doing the wrong thing. Sometimes we even do wrong things uh, intentionally. intentionally. Sometimes uh, we, 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 we hold views which others may not hold. But, but our purpose, this is my belief, our purpose who, who are ministering in the, in, in the message was not to give the people what, we be, what our mind understands about the Bible or understands about the message, but what the message has revealed. I am fully persuaded that this message is parallel to the message of Moses. And the priesthood was only to take that which Moses had given and give it to the people. They had no revelation of their own. They were actually just taking what Moses had given and gave it to the people. Just like the Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago, he took the bread and fish and broke those pieces and gave, his, gave it to the apostles. And the apostles took those things and started distributing to the people. This is what I believe that we are supposed to do. Now, I know when Brother Brenham started this message, he was preaching in the line of Pentecostalism. That was during the Pentecostal. Remember, he raised during the Pentecostal age. But, but it, was, it was pointing us or bringing us to somewhere else. Just like Moses took the people from Egypt to Canaan. They had a journey which was going to Canaan. Just like when Jesus started preaching, his journey was to take the people into the Holy Ghost. And when this message started, the, the journey was not to remain in the Pentecostal age, but was to go on into the Bride Age. This is why the prophet preached the message, junction, junction, the message junction. The prophet says it's very easy to, to preach a straight line, I mean to build a straight wall, but it takes a real man to, to make a corner. Now, that corner, that's where the problem is today. Hallelujah. That's where the problem is today. Today we have people who just want to continue the way they understood the Bible. The way they were, whatever is being preached in the denominations. You see, I'm so, uh, I, I, feel, I feel bad. You see, I, I'm, I'm very poor in English. My vocabulary is very limited. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will supply you, both you who are so educated and those who are not so educated. I ask that the architecture of life, the Holy Spirit himself, will put together my poor grammar and English so that you get what I'm trying to understand. Uh, you, you get what I'm trying to understand. Let me just say uh, once again, brethren, uh, let now, I think the time has come that the message be witnessed openly and what God has achieved in this day be told openly to the world. I, I, I believe, I'm believing from my heart that the time for silence is now over. It's, it's now, it should be made clear and open to those that clearly lead this message. I am so surprised that you lead the message, but I don't hear servants of God in this message actually bringing out the thing which the prophet brought out. Or the, the, the whole essence of this message was to reintroduce Jesus Christ as the Messiah back to the earth, the second coming of Christ. At the beginning of this message, it said, as John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming, you are sent with a message that shall forerun the second coming of Christ. Now, even though the prophet said you are sent with a message that shall forerun the second coming of Christ, there are some instances in which he clearly shows that it was him that was introduced Christ. And, and that agrees with the Bible. It was not John's disciples that introduced Christ. It was John himself. And me, I, my condition, and uh, my condition with the message believers is that why do you say the message is for running the second coming of Christ when Brother Brenham actually introduced Christ when he was alive upon the, upon the earth? 
This is why we have people who believe Brabanum is going to rise and introduce Jesus because they missed the coming of Christ. Christ, according to the word of God and according to this message, was to return in the physical form of his church, in his people, in a way of being a prophet. This very prophet we are following is the anointed Christ, the word for this day. In fact, the word prophet means the anointed one. I don't know how we ever missed these things. Anyone who claims to be a prophet, he is Christ. Now, it, now there will only be one genuine Christ. The rest will be false Christs. That's where the, 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 the trouble is. That's why they are attacking this message because they realize that if people can only understand there will be one genuine Christ, then people will know that the rest are false anointed ones at the end of time. We, if, if, you, if you understand that there's only one Christ, there's only one God, then we are not going to have two thousand uh, messengers. We will have one message. And that Christ will be the Savior. That Christ will be the deliverer of this day. God bless you this morning. God bless you. Um, we should continue to pray for one another. Amen. And uh, as I told you, I'm just starting. Pray for me. Help me. And uh, even if you don't agree with me, let's not fight, my brother. I love you. In my heart, I've got love, my brethren. If, if I'm wrong, and, or if I'm crazy, or if you think that uh, this is fanatism, anyway, you are free to think that. But still, I love you. I, 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 I'm saying things from the depth of my heart. This is what I believe. And I'm trusting that if I'm wrong, the, I pray that the Lord will correct me in mercy. God bless you this morning.